Hi, this is Dr. Muthamir working in St. Joseph Hospital, Cluny, Pondicherry. I am a consultant obstetrician. In this video, we are going to say about the preterm awareness. This is celebrated every November in every year. And uh, what is preterm birth? Preterm birth is birth of a baby before 37 weeks. Around 15 million babies are born worldwide every year as preterm babies. That is, almost every 1 in 10 babies are born preterm. And India contributes to 23% of preterm births across the world. In this video, we are going to say about uh, the risk factors, what are the complications and few preventive measures which we can do to avoid preterm births. So, first about the risk factors, who can have preterm birth? Many women do not have any risk factors and few known risk factors are previous preterm births. If there is a preterm birth prior to this pregnancy, they can have it again. Multifetal gestations, age less than 17 or above 35, those who are obese or those who are underweight or assisted conceptions. Problems, any problem with uterus, cervix, any trauma to the cervix or any placental problems like placenta previa or uh, any surgeries in uterus or any abnormal shapes of uterus and infections of the lower genital tract or of the urinary tract, hypertension, diabetes and poor nutrition, anemia, smoking, alcohol and the interpregnancy interval which is less than 6 months. And what are the long-term complications? There are many long-term complications, but few short-term complications which we are more worried about are necrotizing enterocolitis. That is because preterm gut, lung as well as brain would not have matured properly. So there will be necrotizing enterocolitis can occur, intraventricular brain hemorrhage can occur and respiratory distress syndrome. There will be uh, feeding difficulties and uh, Neurodevelopmental problems can occur long term, that is baby can undergo autism or uh, it can develop as a cerebral palsy baby which is very difficult to manage and dental problems, there can be vision problems or hearing loss and behavioral disorders later in childhood can develop in these babies. So there are few preventive measures which we can do to prevent these preterm births. One is it should be a planned pregnancy. Prenatally, if you are diabetic, you control it well, you maintain your HbA1c below 6. If you are hypertensive, proper control of it, change the drugs which can be suited to pregnancy, healthy diet which is rich in folic acid, vitamins as well as iron, anemia which is easily treatable which, uh, which to an extent can prevent majority of the preterm births. And you can reduce your weight if you are overweight or if you are underweight, you can properly improve your diet. And if you are smoking, stop it. If you are consuming alcohol, stop it immediately. And if there is history of previous preterm births, talk to your obstetrician, undergo a prophylactic cervical encirclage. And uh, you can even avoid your intercourse uh, if you have a known preterm birth history. And the main thing is to avoid or treat all those vaginal as well as urinary infection, maintain a proper perineal hygiene. So let us try to work making these preterm pregnancies to prolong and uh, avoid the neurodevelopmental challenges these uh, preterm children encounter later in their life. Thank you.